What up, YouTube family? Thank you for tuning in into another episode of the race to Division 1. You guys see we're in Division 5. We got a point last time, so we got a draw in our last episode. But went ahead and made a brand new team and a brand new formation for you guys that I'm using. So we went ahead with the 4-2-3-1 with the two cams. Now, don't be fooled by the squad creator here. You guys see the cams are a little bit tucked in. This is actually a wider formation than what it looks like when you're building it. So those cams right there, Pyatt and Ben Arfa, they're actually a little bit out wide so keep that in mind don't think that this is a narrow formation just because of how that looks like when you're building the team the the way it's set up on ultimate team so it is a little bit wider than than most formations and um i'm i'm okay with this formation i guess it's not my favorite but it's not bad it's not bad at all now you guys remember that i had actually packed informed ben arfa and we had invested in payette and i had not sold them yet so i figured let's go ahead and throw them on the team and a lot of you guys have been asking for my player instructions and briefly I showed you guys real quick as I went through every single player but I'll let you guys know the most important thing I think is every single player is on aggressive interceptions and the reason why I did that is because a lot of people are still having that FIFA 15 mentality if you're in their final third they're automatically trying to pass the ball forward as soon as they get possession and because of my players being on aggressive interceptions I'm able to get possession back so that's why I do that definitely try it out if you are uh, having problems keeping possession when your opponent gets it back now, our first match this guy's got a pretty solid looking team but that midfield right there those three midfielders they gave me a lot of trouble they're all physical midfielders but here's the thing with this guy as soon as he saw, saw my team, he saw John Terry, he's probably like, oh man, I'm just going to go ahead and, and put my team on ultra defensive and try to counter Smarba all day because he's got John Terry and he's not going to keep up with my players. Well, let me tell you guys this. John Terry is an animal this year on this game. He is really, really good. And I'm going to say something that's going to be debatable, but I can honestly say so far, and I've played a lot of foot draft, um, and I've used quite a few center backs. So far, John Terry was the most impressive as my opponent finally gets the first shot of the match. Thought we had space here on the wings with Payet, but Aurier comes in, makes the tackle, goes out for a corner. It's the 45th minute, though, and, uh, you know, a lot of funny business happens in the 45th minute. As we go ahead, cross it in from the corner, doesn't get anywhere, but Verratti comes up with it, and his defender is in front of that shot. We get nothing. That's all we had in the first half. It's just too much defense, and that midfield was really hard to push through. But eventually, I had to talk to myself a little bit. I said, man, I got to slow things down. Then we get our first opportunity, a first great opportunity in the second half, and I just rushed it. I panicked, tried to go with the power shot instead of the finesse, and his keeper saves it with ease. But I finally was able to start breaking down his defense until he got me on a crazy counter here. Look at this. He's going to body off Thiago Silva. Thank goodness Thiago Silva was able to recover. I thought I was going to concede. And if I conceded, I think it would have been over. I don't think I would have been able to come back from this one. But eventually we get a little bit of space here with Ben Arfa, who's going to try to take people to school, beating defenders left and right. My goodness, is it going to be a goal? But his... Keeper comes in and makes the save. That would have been a sick, sick goal. Ben Arfa was just absolutely schooling those defenders, man. He's a really, really fun player to use. Um, that's why I wanted to go ahead and put him on this team, actually. Just get, get some goals like that. But eventually, we are going to go ahead and build up the attack once we make this interception here. And we just find players making the run. Looks like he had gone off that ultra-defensive mentality for the most part. But you guys see Payet gets free, finds Valbuena, make the run, and he ends up making a poor poor challenge and that's an easy decision for the ref we get the penalty and he gets a red card so you guys he gets the double whammy he gets the panel we, he concedes the penalty and he gets a red card so he's gonna have to find a new defender for his next match and then bang we end up scoring the first goal of the match in the 78th minute finally and i was a little bit worried at that point i was like man I'm having trouble scoring with this team. That's not a good sign, man. That's really not a good sign. Is it because he was on defensive or ultra defensive or whatever he was on? Is it because I'm still trying to get used to the formation since I keep changing formations as often as possible? I don't know what it was, but I was not happy winning 1-0 because I felt like I deserved a little bit more. You guys see the Matt stats? He did nothing all game. He had zero shots on target the first half and one shot on target the second half. And John Terry and Thiago Silva are a great partnership. As we go ahead and move in, to the second match of this episode really like this guy's team i really want to try lacazette he's still a little bit expensive and i don't want to buy him yet at that price that he's at i think he's going for 
70,000 coins. But uh, we'll see what happens. And we, we just go ahead and start this game off beautifully. We just go ahead, uh, wait for players to make the runs, and look at Valbuena. Just ends up, whoop, goes around a defender, gets the ball right back, and just finesses it in one minute into the game. And we go ahead and score. That's a great confidence boost to go ahead and just score right away, especially the way the last game went. So I'm glad I went ahead and got on the scoreboard as soon as I could. But once again, just being patient, waiting for players to make the run, and Valbuena doing what Valbuena does, making another run here into the box, and a little bit of a fake shot in, and then a turn. Whoa! Goes off a defender, goes into the back of the net. 14 minutes in, we're already up 2-0. Things are looking really good. Still on the attack here. Valbuena one more time. Whoop! Right under the defender's legs. Are we going to go ahead and get a shot off? No, he ends up slide tackling the ball away. And I felt like I was just starting to... <laughs> Starting to skill for no reason. Uh, almost got a shot off there, but he ends up cleaning that mess up real quick. And then just still being super, super patient with the ball. And he was one of those second man press defenders. And anytime you play against those types of players, don't be worried about them getting the ball from you. Because when you second press, they don't make the tackle. They just stay in front. Right here, Ben Arfa, as cool, as calm as can be, goes off a defender again. And goes into the back of the net again. So we go ahead and get our third goal of the first half. So we're pretty much walking away with a victor here for the most part as he almost gets us on a counter, but comes through for us, stops that shot from going anywhere, ends up clearing it out, and uh, we're just going to try to build up this attack. We're going to try to find players making the run, as always. Verratti is going to go ahead and find Valbuena on the wings. Verratti continues his run, gets the ball back, takes a shot on goal, but his keeper makes the save as we go near post. Later on, we end up getting a corner here. Go ahead and cross it in. He clears it out. Goes right to his player as he's chasing it down. But he makes a mistake. Ends up passing it backward. It goes out of bounds. We're going ahead and try to get Payet to go ahead and get this one. And we're just going to try to do some fancy stuff. Flick it over his defender. Get some room here. He goes to the slide tackle. Little spin move. Whoop! And oh my goodness, we've just put him on Sports Center. Did it it? Then in it, just completely fooled his defender. Go near post, and that's going to be our fourth goal of the match. And we end up walking away with a great victory, especially the way the previous match went. You guys see the match stats here. Match stats here shortly. Complete domination once again. My opponent only got one shot on target. Really liking this team so far. The defense is unbelievable. John Terry and Thiago Silva together. Man, it's a lock. It's a wrap. We'll see how it goes in the next episode, though, as we continue using this team for a little bit. See how it goes, and uh, we'll hopefully switch after uh, we see how this team plays out. With that said, if you enjoyed this episode, please make sure to hit that like button. It really helps me out. And if you guys haven't subbed to the channel already, make sure you hit that sub button. I mean, what else are you going to do? Arrivederci.